a very good video uh, coming on uh, in respect to paranoid schizophrenia involving also the royals from Nepal, India, uh, British royals, basically Thailand even. Uh, it's an awesome video. Let's see this stuff here. So I'm going to demonstrate you what the paranoid schizophrenia is. The man you see here, this is about, this is a video which was posted nine months ago. Uh, was it? Uh, how many months ago was it in the series here? Yeah. Posted a few months ago, a few months ago. All right, January 18, 2023, right? Uh, eight months ago. Okay. What you see here is a police officer who participated in MK Ultra, and he became a police officer in 2000, around 2000 with another two, three guys that participated since 1995. This guy participated since 1995. Uh, I don't know how old he was, but this is uh, this guy was appointed. Village we meet Dan Bahadur Mullah. He led the investigative team that found Santosh. They Nepal busted two Royals. trafficking rings and made the largest number of arrests of kidney traffickers in Nepal in a yeah, decade. It could be even 2005, but I would say 2000. This, this is the guy that was appointed, became a police officer in 2000. Uh, this is the first thing we're going to establish. Yeah. And then uh, this is very interesting because this guy is only 19 years old. And this video was just released eight months ago, All right? Uh, his name is, he's 19 years old and his name is Santoshi. Not where he wanted to be. And, and he is, traveled to Nepal, including a district. He is obviously from Kathmandu and he traveled to a New Delhi, which is the capital of India, where they did, took uh, a According to the statement that they have stolen the organ from him. Well, <clears throat> based on my information, if this guy is 19 years old and if something like this have happened to him, um, If he is 19 years old, and it was eight months ago, they have exactly what you see right there, uh, and found himself in a situation, if you look through the video, suggesting that he is uh, without a kidney. His body has to he's adapt. He's barely functioning, basically. Um, body has to adapt, he can't work anything, lift anything heavy and so on. He got apparently $4,000 for this kidney. Uh, it's basically like this. The year was 2013, that's 10 years ago. So this boy must have been only nine years old. It's a very, very strong possibility because his facial characteristics, He's uh, very, very much are the same. This is a Kathmandu, this is a Nepali. Uh, Nepali DNA uh, is more like uh, the DNA of uh, Thailand is. It's more, it's more, this is, this people look like Indian, you, know, you see that? Have you noticed this? But this people here basically are mixed between the Indian and uh, uh, you know, Chinese, you know, that area, uh, Nepal. Uh. So, um, the, 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 mostly when it comes to the DNA, uh, Nepal, Bahadur Mullah. he led the investigative team it, that found this Santosh. Here, what you see they busted here. This is, this is more Chinese Asian DNA, right? Dan Bahadur Mullah. He led the investigative Thailand, team. Something like that, yeah? You see that. Uh, and uh, very important is for me to, to establish this village. Here. Millions of him on the picture. 
very strong possibility that according to my memories yeah he could be a doppelganger he had uh, but he always were clothing like this from a very poor family extremely poor background um with i don't know without really nothing but based on my memory it's like he was like he had nothing like but mother and children around like very difficult poverty this family was involved in mk ultra since 1995 and nepal entire nepal was one of the most active participants in mk ultra i did not spoke about um simply because i got upset with thailand uh thailand uh, just really did a big sit back for me um it's just uh, for me personally this is extremely disappointing the stuff i see by the way the princess bairikiti abba teach me one thing and she teach me once you no longer see she teach me about how long you last when they when they make you disappear yeah uh like in her case they placed her uh into a life support uh and before they would do this she told me i'll probably last about a year or even less maybe a little bit longer she wasn't sure really uh and suggested that for me i wouldn't even last that that i should see on my website uh basically gonna google what it looks like based on her observations i wouldn't even last that long yeah that's kind of interesting isn't it uh what's happening here okay because it was connected that's why i kind of find it strange It's got to do a lot with the Thailand, this video. I know it's kind of strange, but all right, really the truth is I don't actually exist on a Google anywhere. Interesting, isn't it? Except for the two top one, two things that you see right there on the top, I'm nowhere really to be found. You see, even that I'm very active uh, and I think worldwide known very much I don't exist anywhere. So she did teach me about one thing. Yeah. But that's a really, really nice hat. Uh, but let's go back to the business. Let's talk about the human trafficking right now, whose victims were used to sell their organs. Uh, the young man that you see here, therefore, let's just suppose this stuff. Got involved in MK Ultra at his age nine. If it's to believe, yeah. So in 2013, I was thrown inside of a psychiatric hospital. To me personally, in 2013, he did not look like age nine. In 2013, this man. In 2013, <clears throat> because first of all, I think that the latest time that what you see here have taken place in 2017. Uh, so the time gap is about six years. So in 2013, I would say that this man already was 19 years old. If it was not he, they might have used somebody else for the job and it's extremely important for me to get to this issue here basically on what is how this stuff is done these are the some website even claim the wealthiest people in the world and i want you to understand what their money is made out of
they like also to boast about how they are rich, how much money they have, and so on. I'm not envious. I'm just here to point out what the money is made out of it. I'm here to talk about the paranoid schizophrenia. This man voluntarily accepted an organ uh, transplant. Uh, he had a dilemma, heavy dilemma going on for at least, you know, for how long? Because he was alone with the mother and with the children. That's at least what it appeared. He had a tremendous dilemma going on for about at least three years. Since the childhood, they got him. And he had a dilemma that he will make money, that he will make it in life, and no matter what, and that he will help his family and so on and so forth. I think he's a wonderful young man, and the poverty is just is just a sad thing. And these people were maybe the poorest people in this town here that you see. Maybe they were the poorest of them all. So about three years before he did committed himself to the transplant, he already contemplated on one. Uh, what's interesting to me is the offer came from somewhere. You know, through my case, the offers come from unlikely. Yeah? This is going to be about what money is made out of. Locations. The people who ran MKUltra were royals. Specifically, British royals and those, they break down the jobs, the side jobs, onto other royals. And those, they, they break down onto through other governments worldwide, even through United Nations, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and so on. Talking about the crime. Uh, finally, he departed to New Delhi. The clinic that was on the picture... In New Delhi, uh, I don't know whether they show one or not. Do they show this? It, I was throughout entire India. Uh, the clinic. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Let's Kareel is Nepal's National Human Rights Commissioner. He says the governments of India and Nepal and humanitarian agencies are one step behind the traffickers. They are trying to find out the right, uh, orphan children uh, in the street. That I would get some kind of, uh... Investigative officials told the news hour each new victim led them to the same hospital. Rabindranath Tagore International Institute for Cardiac Sciences. And... Uh, the hospital in New Delhi was involved uh, before the transplant, the theft of his, if you like, his organ took place, they would have me delivered there and I would have to participate. The doctor uh, that would do the transplant and so on. So from the point of view, from the psychiatric point of view, my being labeled as a paranoid uh, schizophrenic, that would sound like a perfect, perfect paranoid schizophrenic, isn't it? So that's why this video is about what color the money is. What makes the money? This man, according to MK Ultra scenario, got his kidney transplant done. Sometimes the least, the latest that he would make this transplant, uh, kidney transplant done. And I believe he did. Unless they use a doppelganger, that's a different story. They did have people coming from also India, from other locations and so on, that easily could be used also to, the whole procedure was done in India, to prove the non-existing. That's basically a mental disease in me, a paranoid schizophrenia. MK Ultra, this is a state of mind when you are thoroughly drugged up, subjected to the drugs, and you have no control over your body. 
uh, over your brain, over your conscience, I should say, you have nothing. Physically, you're restrained, and all you get is the information that is served when you're on a plate. The latest possible, when this man would get the transplant done, would be in 2017. However, I even speculate years 2015, 2016, what would make this young man way, way, way too young. He would have him in 2016. It's the year I'm going to take that this transplant was done. That will be seven years ago. This man would only be 12 years old. Will make the whole thing impossible. So now either was used a doppelganger uh, with the video I literally got served on my desktop. It's, that's what the Google does. I told you that each they year an estimated the videos, they served me literally the videos that they deem I should view. So why is this video so important for me further? And that, that's something that was happening, regardless of this case here. This video is extremely important for me because of what I mentioned earlier. We have to learn what the money is made, what color the money is. For this young man, I was afterwards suggested in 2016. So it's very likely that doppelganger was used. I was suggested that in this hospital, they did about two, three guys like this. And I did not even know what the fuck went on, what was happening. That's how it's under MK Ultra. For this video, I was suggested it was the Thailand Royals, the Thai Royals that bottled up. That's a Princess Pyrrhiki Diaba. And once they learned about this young man here that was involved in MK Ultra suffering the fate like this, uh, since I didn't want to be on a picture, do you like to be tortured, by the way? No? Do you want to be on a picture like this, just like this? thrown for dogs to rip you apart? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, for this specific issue, I learned about it. It was a Thai king who searched for the organs, for the kidney, for this young man, and had eventually got him uh, and killed him and uh, got him a second kidney. It was suggested like this to me for other, I don't know, other people as well that for what basically I was blamed for, yeah, for what I was blamed for that I made, I created, and they used the same system throughout the Africa. Wherever there was something interesting, something of their nature, the interest, they would pop me on a picture first portray me as the ultimate evil, and then they would follow up and they would start to correct, yeah, and gain markets uh, to sell their products, to advance their uh, merchandise market or potential, uh, I don't know, natural resources, minerals, whatever, wherever would be of their interest. The British, the Thai Royals, Every royals, they were doing this kind of criminal business. And so they always presented themselves like, uh, like a goodwill, like, like people that, that are great to have around, like, like something good is coming. Like, you understand me what I'm saying? And at the same time, they would bash me into the shit. They basically suggested me that they're going, they're actually following my footsteps and correcting all the problems. So I just wanted to, I just thought it would be really, really interesting to understand how the Thai criminal, organized criminal gang progress through United Nations, through the Africa, even through the Asia, using even issues such as 
organs. I don't know what the issue was with this young man afterwards, uh, whether this is just the case, the latest case that developed, really, that he did not have done that before, uh, this organ uh, transplant. But I gave you my account. And before I close this video, I'm also going to take date and time so that you can see what date and time it is when I did video recorded. So then you can match with the timing and absolutely everything. So we're gonna we're gonna take a date and time here, third date and time. Um, interesting. My mother also made sure if i demonstrate it to you and why not since i have a laptop she played with this paranoid schizophrenia stuff a lot she had a lot to play about this this is a big alert now this would significate for me the end between me and the tire organ. That's exactly the end of it. She now has this up here. So here is the end of it. Yeah. King Rama. King Rama. That's all. Uh, Maha Vaira Lanka Korn. And now we're going to do it like this. All right, I can show you this stuff. This is my mommy loves this kind of issues. This. Yeah, this. This is good. This stuff. His name is Rama. Vaira Lanka Korn. Something like that. Uh, whoever was making fun of me, uh, ridiculing, labeling me with the paranoid schizophrenia, whoever was making fun out of that stuff during MK Ultra, is on a death list. It's listed as good as dead. No, there is not such thing like a way back. There is only going to be a lengthy fight on the courts for every millimeter of the human dignity you deprive me of. I mean, going and taking pride in having an individual destroyed, uh, completely ruin, erase his life, basically somebody who should be executive of General Motors, And placing him basically on a level of a beggar, labeling him in the end even with mental illness, after he undergone 40, year, 40 years of MK Ultra torture. This is what my case was in 2013. That's going to cost you as much as God's going to give me the chance to get back for what you have done for me. This is never going to be forgivable. It's never going to be forgotten from my end. You can only expect one thing from me. That's why I already told you. That's why this video.